He makes us citizens of his kingdom. What do you think the prevailing message of Jesus is? You would think that'd be a pretty easy question to answer, but I'm guessing that in a room full of people, there'd be many different kinds of answers to that question. But in Luke 9, as well as throughout the Gospels and in the book of Acts, we're told many times, very plainly, what that message is. The central, prevailing message of the Bible and of Jesus is the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is here, and the king is Jesus. And this king has come to reconcile the world to God. His rule and authority are being made known wherever he goes. He uses that in the feeding of the multitudes, the healing of the demon-possessed, the opening up of the eyes of the blind, the healing of the lame, those who can't speak and hear. He is the king, and wherever he goes, the kingdom is showing up. Citizenship in this kingdom is being made available to ordinary people. His life is being offered and extended to the whole world, to us, to broken folks. And the good news of that kingdom is that God has made a way through Christ to reconcile us, to make us new, to make us citizens and bring us under his rule and reign to make us his. By his death on the cross, he has reconciled us to himself. And now, by the Spirit of God, he has empowered us to manifest his kingdom life, to live it out, the very life of his Son. As Jesus walks with us through our life, the kingdom shows up. The result of his kingdom life in us is freedom, joy, love, the fruit of the Spirit. And when we do that, we are set free. We're set free from our past, our regrets, our shame. And we live in the joy of forgiveness and our adoption and inclusion in the very life and love of God. The one sitting on the throne said, Lord, I'm making everything new. Everything. And we see it wherever Jesus goes. There is power in the King. And there's power in his abiding life with us. And this king has made you his own. You are a citizen, and he is your king. Let us live as citizens of the kingdom of God. Let us embrace this message of the abiding and saving life, the reconciling life of Christ. Let us be ambassadors of this message of our great king. Let's tell people that they have been reconciled in Christ. See it. Believe it. Repent. Change your mind. And step into the life that is yours. That's the prayer that I have for my own soul. That's the prayer that I have for my family, for my wife and my daughters and my son. And that's a prayer that I have for you. May it be so.